Hi everyone, Gino here. I hope you're all doing well. And today we're going to do another video. This time we're going to take a look at Huawei's newest value oriented offering, the Huawei Y6P. Let's go. The Philippine launch of the Y6P was done last May 21st, and on their keynote, Huawei is aiming to market this phone to young consumers living in an active lifestyle. And based on the specs, price, and aesthetics, I believe that the Huawei Y6P manages to tick all of the boxes. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. The Y6P comes in a white Huawei branded box, and up front we can see a product shot of the Y6P boasting that it has 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage, which you currently won't find on any other smartphone at this price point. On this side, we can see the same information about the memory and storage. The color variant, which is phantom purple, by the way, you can also get the Y6P in emerald green and midnight black. Let's cut the seal and pop the lid open. Immediately, we can see the Huawei Y6P but let's save this one for later and check the other items inside the box. The Y6P comes with a SIM injector pin, a warranty card, quick start guide, a jelly case, a micro USB cable, a standard charger rated at 5 volts 2 amps, and a set of earphones which is considerably rare at this segment or price point. And finally, let's unwrap the Huawei Y6P in Phantom Purple. Huawei has done such an awesome job in terms of aesthetics. The material used for the back shell is actually plastic, but Huawei has used a special coating that makes it more robust against scratches and makes it look and feel like it's glass. The back also has curvy lines that looks mesmerizing whenever light bounces on it. The lines also changes in form when viewing from different angles. And by the way, the glass-like back is a smudge or fingerprint magnet, especially if you have sweaty hands. Up front, the Huawei Y6P has a 6.3-inch dewdrop display with an 88.4% screen-to-body ratio. The display has rounded corners which is okay to my taste and a not so thin bezel which is to be expected at this price point. There's an earpiece at the very top of the bezel and right underneath is the 8 megapixel front facing camera. On the top side we have a secondary microphone. On the left we have a dual SIM and memory card tray. Both SIM card slots support 4G LTE bands, and the memory card slot can support micro SDs with up to 512GB capacity. On the right side, we have the volume keys and power button. At the bottom lies the headphone jack, microphone, standard micro USB port, and speaker grill. Aside from the elegant back design, we also have a fingerprint sensor and the triple camera setup with LED flash. The camera setup consists of a 2 megapixel depth sensor, a 5 megapixel wide angle, and a 13 megapixel main shooter. The Huawei Y6P weighs around 185 grams, which for me doesn't feel too heavy nor too light. I've also noticed that the weight distribution of the phone is balanced. It's easy to hold the phone upright without having to worry about it being tipped over and it's not going to be necessary for you to over grip one side of the phone because it's not bottom nor top heavy. It's perfectly balanced. The phone has curvy plastic frame that's very comfortable to hold and doesn't feel cheap. The Huawei Y6P runs on Android 10 out of the box with EMUI 10.1 skin on top. Aside from the enhanced dark mode and GPU turbo, EMUI 10.1 has a new feature called Smart Collage. The feature allows you to put 2-9 to nine pictures in one frame without using any third-party applications. And out of the box, the phone has 55GB of usable storage, which is super impressive at this price point. 
The Huawei Y6P has a 6.3 inch IPS display with a 1600 by 720 HD plus resolution and has 278 ppi density. There's no mention on what type of glass Huawei used on the Y6P's screen, but it does come with a pre-installed plastic screen protector which is also a smudge magnet. Also, take note that the screen has a wider aspect ratio of 20 by 9. You'll have black bars on each side of the screen if you're watching videos online, which are mostly on a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Video quality is decent, nothing special to be honest and this is to be expected at this price point. The single bottom firing speaker is pretty loud, though the sound quality turns a bit muddy when listening at max volume. The triple camera setup is beautifully seated on the upper left part of the frame. I'd like to give props to Huawei as well because the Y6P is currently the only triple camera phone you can find that has an ultra wide under the 6000 peso price point. The triple camera setup sports a 13 megapixel main shooter, 5 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. There's also an 8 megapixel selfie camera on the front end. Both front and rear camera can shoot videos at 1080p at 30 frames per second. The camera also has HDR and panorama mode. And here are the sample photos and videos. This is the video test of the Huawei Y6P. So we're currently filming at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Uh, unfortunately, the camera doesn't have image stabilization, so it's gonna be a bit shaky. Uh, and here is the quality of the video. Sound check, testing mic one two. Sound check, testing mic one two. So yeah, so we're currently filming uh, using the front-facing camera. So this one is an 8 megapixel shooter. Um, so here is the uh, sample video. Um, currently, front-facing camera can shoot 1080p, 30 frames per second. And here is the video quality. Sound check, testing mic, one, two. Sound check, testing mic, one, two. Under good lighting condition, the 13 megapixel main camera of the Y6P performed really well. You can get images that are sharp enough for social media posting. Noise is noticeable though if you zoom in on the image. The 2 megapixel depth sensor is a hit or miss for me because the edge detection is a bit sketchy and it's not the best. And for the 5 megapixel ultra wide, it's a fun camera to play with. Compared to the main 13 megapixel shooter, this camera sacrifices a bit of sharpness to get a wider field of view. You can capture a lot of information using this camera because it's an ultra wide. It's great for landscape, cityscapes, and group shots. Lens distortion on the corners is pretty controlled if the subject is located far enough. You can also do creative close-up shots with this camera if you're going for that fish eye look. One thing I've noticed as well is that the color temperature coming out of the 5 megapixel camera tends to be a bit on the warmer side compared to the main 13 megapixel camera. 
the Y6P has a sizable 5000 mAh battery that Huawei claimed to provide 20 hours straight 4G web surfing or 32 hours of video playback on a full charge. It's also nice that the Y6P is paired with at least a 10 watt charger so you wouldn't have to wait too long for the phone to completely charge. And uh, by the way, the Y6P can also do reverse charging via OTG cable. Let's proceed with the charging test. For the charging test, we're going to start at 20% battery life, then do the initial checkup after an hour. And after one hour of charging, the 5V 2A charger was able to refuel the battery from 20% up to 61%. The battery was able to gain a 41% charge in one hour. And it took a total of 2 hours and 9 minutes to fully charge the Y6P from 20% up to 100, which is pretty okay. Under the hood, the Huawei Y6P sports an octa-core processor, a Helio P22 chipset, has a Power VR GE8320 GPU, and is paired with 4GB of RAM. For the game test, I'll be using two popular mobile games to determine the phone's gaming performance. The first one on the list is a popular MOBA esports title, uh, which is Mobile Legends. Uh, the game's graphic setting was set to high with HD mode, high frame rate mode, outlines, shadows, and damage text turned on. The game was very playable and it runs okay in these settings. Though if you're looking for that super fluid, super high frame rate gaming experience, uh, you won't find it on the Y6P. But I'm happy to report that the game feels smooth throughout my gameplay. Frame time was consistent, no freezing or hiccups. After 15 minutes of gameplay, the phone only lost 2% of its battery life, and the phone temperature was still excellent. Next we'll be playing Call of Duty Mobile. The game has detected the device capability and has automatically set the graphics quality to low and the frame rate settings to medium. The phone was able to run the game smoothly in these settings uh, no problem. But if you're looking for that high definition, high frame rate, uh, immersive gaming experience for Call of Duty M, sadly you won't get it on the y 6 which is to be expected at this price point. After 15 minutes of gameplay, the phone only lost 3% of its battery life. The phone temperature was a bit warm to the touch at this point. Now for the conclusion, even though Huawei is directly marketing this phone to young consumers, I can sense that the Y6P would most definitely appeal to the value-oriented people as well because you're really getting a lot for what you paid for with this handset. I like that the Y6P runs on the latest Android 10 and EMUI 10.1 out of the box. That coupled with 4 gigs of RAM makes the multitasking experience on the Y6P superb. Not to mention that it also has a large 64 GB capacity to cater most of your storage needs. And the Y6P has a sizable 5000 mAh battery that can easily get you through the whole day under normal usage. I also love its flexible triple camera setup, especially the ultra wide sensor. And lastly, the premium design language is a super plus to my taste. The glass like back cover and mesmerizing design makes the phone look and feel like it's on a higher weight class. 
and all for an affordable price of 5,909 pesos. Oh, I almost forgot, with the Y6P, you also get a pair of earphones, which is kind of rare in this segment. And for the negatives, I can only cite two. The first being that you can't use Google Apps on the Y6P, but uh, don't fret, there are workarounds. Uh, you can use APK Pure to install application on your phone or use Huawei's very own app gallery. Next con would be the Helio P22 chipset. In terms of its gaming performance, it really can't deliver that uh, high frame rate, uh, super smooth like experience on competitive titles like Mobile Legends and Call of Duty M, which is kind of expected on this category. But don't get me wrong, the said games are still playable, it's just not the best experience. On a positive note, the temperature on the first 30 minutes of gaming on this chipset is uh, pretty commendable. That said, is the Huawei Y6P worth it? The answer is a solid yes. The value you get on this phone surpasses the shortcomings. The fact that it's the only phone right now that has 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage that's under the 6,000 peso price range is a no-brainer. Not to mention that it also has a flexible triple camera system with an ultra-wide sensor. I highly recommend the Huawei Y6P to anyone that's seeking a capable smartphone that has good looks and is competitively priced. Please subscribe for more videos, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. This is Gino. Peace.